All right, guys. So we're at Bed Bath Beyond right now. I'm trying to find new shit for my bed, and it's not going too well. Uh, everything's expensive, more than I thought it would be. I knew I would be coming in here and paying a pretty penny, but not this much. I need pillows, comforters, sheets, and I got a coupon. Is this the door that they had in Click? I wonder if I can go in there and see if I can go beyond. I really, 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 really want a black comforter. Really bad. And I literally don't see anything in stock other than like Uggs. And Uggs are like 200 bucks and I'm okay with not spending that on a black comforter. So great it is. Got pillows too. You need pillows. Because if you don't got pillows, you sleep on nothing. Unless you have a mattress, then you technically sleep on something, I guess. So I think I'm gonna go with this one. I want a black, but I mean, I guess it'll do. Being an adult is hard. So hard. <sighs> it's hot. It's hot as f It's so hot in here. It's not even funny. I'm not laughing. It's not funny. I adulted. So to just recap what just happened in the gym, I obviously just hit a 655 pound deadlift and that is an all time PR for myself that I've been chasing for almost a year now. Now, today was my SBD day which I had a squat bench and deadlift and I kind of woke up and I was just feeling like kind of good. So I'm like, you know what, why not? Texas bar, pound plates, catalyst, to Sunday, Sunday fun day. So let me fix the lighting on this a little bit, we're a little dark. So why not go out and try and hit a PR? And I took, you guys saw, some grill of mine, two scoops of that, and I just like warmed up, feeling like I felt great warming up. I didn't have too much of time to work at the gym. I only had about an hour and a half to lift and everything went a lot quicker than I wanted it, not wanted, but than I thought it would have gone, so that's always good and I don't know you know yes I went off programming but should I not be doing that yes of course I should always stick to my program and could you not I'm trying to record a video should I shouldn't have gone off program but like I said I felt good should everyone go off program no don't do what I do just do what I say don't go off program and you know make sure you're doing all your progress in the gym you're hitting all your lifts, you're executing everything, and you're doing what your program says. Again, don't do what I do, just do as I say. 
sometimes don't even do as I say, because sometimes the shit I say is abnorm ab is way too abnormal for anyone else to do. So I'm going to stop, not stop really, but I'm gonna really just focus more on my programming from Carly because I'm about, I think, as of today, actually, I'm 12 weeks out from my second meet ever. And I'm in the 105 weight class. And honestly, the way my strength is right now, I want to accomplish all my goals. I want to go nine for nine in the meet. I want to pull some big numbers. I want to push some big numbers on squat and bench. Obviously, I'm going to pull a fuck ton. So I'm very confident in myself. Um, yeah, I think... For me just to execute everything go nine for nine in my meet i just need to keep the mindset like today for example um going into the lifting 655 i failed that numerous times as you saw and i had the mindset of like okay i got this like i can do it like this is not gonna be a problem for me like i'm just gonna walk up and pick the weight up like in my mind I already picked the weight up. I just had to execute it on the floor, which I did. And I think once you mentally have your mindset set on lifting or whether whether it's lifting or whatever, I think the mental part of the majority of everything in life will get you way farther. Because the second you second guess yourself, you're gonna be you're gonna be a bit of a pickle, and you're not gonna probably lift or do anything. You know, second guessing yourself doesn't get anyone far in life. And I think. The moment you start second guessing yourself, it's just, you gotta stop with that shit. So all I'm really trying to say is, as I'm walking my dog in this freezing cold weather in Buffalo, stay in your program. Granted, you know what, if you're feeling good one day, you know, why not? Do something and, you know, at least like make it look good or don't look like an idiot and fail like I've done before. So again, to basically symbolize what I'm trying to get my point across to, and I'm not rambling for 25 minutes, don't second guess yourself. Go with your gut instinct all the time. Because, like I said, if you think you can do something, then go out and do it. Because the second, like I said, you know, like I keep saying, you second guess yourself, you're it's gonna go downhill. It's not gonna end up too well. That's why everyone always says, stick with your gut. And when your gut's always right, so, yeah, it's freezing right now, so <laughs> I'm gonna get this walk done and go home and eat and edit some videos, cause YouTube! You have a fun walk? You have a fun one? Guys, I adulted again. Well, not again, but that's when I adulted. Maroon and then the, the, um, the comforter is gray. Alright guys, I'm gonna end the video here. I really hope you guys got something out of the video, whether it was my ramble I went on for about a few minutes, a boot, I'm not Canadian, so I don't know where that came from, or whether it was from the edit. I put a lot of time into that edit. It honestly took me way longer than it took me to edit this video. This video, honestly, with everything in it, minus the edit I did by itself, this video maybe took 15, 20 minutes. If that, maybe a little longer, maybe a little less. I didn't, I didn't really time it. And the edit I did the day I pulled the 655 took me almost two and a half hours. So that was fun. But again, I hope you got something out of this video. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, please leave a like if you haven't liked the video yet. Uh, subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. Almost at 200. Want to get there soon. I know it. So again, thank you for watching. Do whatever I just said and have a good one. Never said that before, but have a good one. See you guys in the next one.